So what's the point of doing a past life regression? I mean, why do you need to even know what other lives you might have lived? Some people just are curious, but you know, that's really not a good reason to do a past life regression. Past life regressions are valuable because they can help you solve present life problems. So I'll give you some examples. Let's say you have a health condition and you're going to doctor after doctor after doctor and they cannot figure out what's wrong with you. Or they do figure it out and it's a diagnosis you just don't want to deal with. Or they tell you, yeah, you have this terrible disease and we can't help you. Or this is a chronic condition and we don't know the cause and we'll just have to deal with it. And then you find yourself having a chronic debilitating disease. What can you do? Well, you could go to a past life and maybe find out what the origin of that illness is. Maybe there's some sort of karmic origin to that illness. Maybe there's, maybe it's bleed through from another life. Maybe you, you know, were injured with a spear to the heart in your last life, and in this life you have a heart condition. You know, maybe you were, you know, killed with a blow to the head in your last life, and, and now you have migraines. Um, there might be some link, and going back to those past lives could possibly help you to understand your your current situation. It may not cure you, but then again, it, maybe it could. I know that Brian Weiss worked with people and he was able to actually eliminate certain kinds of illnesses with past life regressions, particularly psychological illnesses and um, illnesses that are linked to stress, things like allergies and asthma and, um, you know, things of that migraines, things of that nature, that he was able to completely wipe out phobias so that's one reason you could do a past life, to understand the nature of a particular ailment you have. You could also visit a past life to understand a relationship that you're going through. So I was in this relationship once where I felt as if I could never, ever leave this person. And it didn't matter how bad things got. It didn't matter if I wasn't particularly happy at any given time in the relationship. There was a part of me deep down that felt I could never, ever leave her. And I did this past life regression where I went back to a life that we had shared together. And in this past life, I had actually killed her. So I had been this revolutionary, part of this movement to overthrow the, the rulers. And she was a member of the ruler class. And so myself and my band of, of uh, revolutionaries, we stormed you know, the castle and proceeded to kill the um, rulers, the oppressive rulers of, of the people. And in killing this person, I had this moment of revelation right after you know, stabbing her in the heart that this person was no different than I was, that we were all part of this cosmic unity and that in killing her I had really killed myself and that although this person appeared to be this oppressive member of this elite class who was, who was harming all of these people, that she was also this kind of sacred spiritual being, just like myself, and we were all part of the same universe, the same loving universe. And so I had this revelation in this past life, and as a result of that revelation, I stayed with her while she died. So I had murdered her, but then I held her until she died, and I promised her I'm never, ever going to leave you. And it was a deathbed promise. And then because I stayed with her, I ended up being captured and tortured and killed in that lifetime. But I carried that over into this lifetime, that commitment, that promise that I would never ever leave this person. And so in this lifetime, I still felt that way. And it wasn't until I did the past life regression and began to understand the karmic connection that I have with this person that I was able to finally be done with it and to recognize that I had fulfilled my promise, that I had already um, done my karma, and that it was time to move on. You might have problematic relationships with your children or your parents or your um, loved ones, your boss. You might find yourself involved in repeated, relation, you know, repeated kind of cyclical relationships where you keep getting into relationship with the same kind of people that are not good for you. And you might be wondering why. Why am I always dating this kind of guy? Why am I always um, becoming friends with this kind of woman? Why am I always um, 
at jobs where my boss treats me the same exact problematic way. You may see these patterns in your life of behavior that you don't like. Maybe it's your own behavior. Maybe you find yourself um, behaving in ways again and again with different people that you don't really want to behave, but you just feel compelled to behave that way. Maybe you feel the need to mother everybody. Maybe you feel the need to give away all of your belongings all of the time. And every time you accumulate anything, you feel like you have to give it away. Right? It's possible that in a past life you made a vow of poverty, or maybe you were a monk, or maybe you were a member of a rich, oppressive class, and you have guilt about having had too much. And so now in this life, every time you acquire any amount of money or goods, you feel bad about it. And so you just start giving it away, giving it away, giving it away, and then you find yourself always having financial problems because you can't seem to keep stuff. There are so many things like that that could, could be a result of past lives and those past lives affecting this life. And so it could be really illuminating to do a past life regression, especially if you have a particular question like, why can't I hold on to money? Or why do I keep dating the wrong kind of person? Why does my youngest son hate me? Um, you know, you may have a very specific questions. You know, why do I have diabetes? Um, why was I born blind? Um, and going into a past life regression with a very specific question can produce some really interesting answers that you might find useful for this life. Your family is Kenyan, and you're living in Kenya, and everything about it is unfamiliar to you. Um, you've never been to Kenya, you've never read any books on Kenya, and yet in the dream you're really intimately immersed into Kenyan culture and you're a part of it. And that could be a clue that it's a past life. Another clue is um, so unfamiliar, you're having completely unfamiliar people and people that you do not know in your dreams. Another clue is that you are dreaming about the mundane details of a life. You know, dreams that are meant to help us work out our problems are usually fantastic, you know, and they have a lot of drama in them. Maybe they're, you know, our wishes come true or our worst fears in the form of nightmares. But we don't usually dream about the mundane. When you have a dream that just has the mundane in it, like a typical day in this young American's life or this young Indian's life and there's nothing exciting happening there's no drama no one dies nobody you know gets married nobody you know falls ill there's no drama it's just like the routine of a day getting up brushing your teeth making your breakfast greeting your neighbor um, going to the fields and working the crops coming home eating your lunch going back to the fields, coming home, greeting your family, washing the clothes, right? A very mundane dream that just is a day in the life. That could be a day in the life in one of your past lives. A third thing to look for is a repeat. So if you have several different dreams of that same character, living that same life, but all of the dreams are equally mundane, they're different days. You know, one day is the day you go to market, and one day is the day you're in the fields farming, and the next day is the day that you're feeding the baby, you know? But it's the same people, same location, different days, equally mundane, nothing dramatic, no giant insights. It's not related to what you're going through in your current life. It's probably a past life. Now, a more direct route to figuring out if you have a past life is to go to a hypnotherapist and be regressed. Uh, one really famous regressionist is Brian Weiss, who's written, written a number of books about it. Another famous regressionist is Dorothy Cannon. She's also written a lot of books. So you could find someone. You, know, you want to find someone who's reputable, who's maybe referred to you by someone else, or who has some kind of reviews out there that you could read, or people you could talk to who have seen them. And you could go to them and say, hey, I want to be regressed to a past life. The best way to regress yourself, to get regressed to a past life, is to have a specific question. If you're just going for curiosity's sake, oh, I just wonder what my past life is, that's not really a good reason. It's not really a good enough reason. 
to remember your past life. But if you have a pointed question, like, you know, I've always been afraid of flying in this life. I wonder if there's a reason for that in the past life. Let's do a regression and find out. Or, you know, I, um, I have this really conflictual relationship with my partner, but I feel that I have to absolutely have to stay with this person. Why is that? Let's go do a past life on you. It might be that you have a contract, a soul contract with that person. You have a past life with that person that's influencing your current life with that person. That would be a good reason to do a regression. But having a really specific question and a strong motive that's about this life is the best way to do a regression. Because what I've experienced, what I've been told, is that you're unlikely to be allowed to remember past lives that just bear no relevance to this life. So you were a um, oppressive dictator in a past life in you know, a particular country. Is that related to this life today? Are you an oppressive person now? Do you mistreat your employees? Are you an oppressive partner? Are you an oppressive parent? Well, yes. If, if it's carried over into this life, then regressing to that life would be useful for you and it might give you some insights. But if you're just regressing, because oh, I want to know if I was famous, uh, we weren't famous, most of us. Very, think about it. Very few people are famous, so chances are in your past lives you weren't famous either. Um, so that's not really a good reason to regress. But, you know, trying to find insights for this life from past lives, that's a very good reason to do a past life regression. You might find that it really can change your life.